Hi, ladies. I am so glad that you're joining us today. I am with Dr. Jennifer Degler, and we are talking about a new subject. It's what you to expect when you're facing a new challenge. And we're going to be in Numbers chapter 20 and 21. And um, we have six different points, but today we're just covering the first point. So we're just going to give you the, the first um, the point that um, what to face when you're expecting, when you're facing a new challenge. So um, Jennifer's gonna give us a little bit of background and then we'll talk about um, today's devotion. Yes, so, you know, the Israelites, the, the, when we left them, they were about to wander in the wilderness for 40 years because they listened to the spies who said, we can't do it, we can't take the promised land. So now here we are, it's 40 years later, and the Israelites are coming back together. They no doubt had to separate during that 40 years so that they would have enough grazing land, and enough water. So they're all coming back together to finally get to enter um, this land that, that God has promised them. And I'm sure Moses and his sister Miriam and his brother Aaron and Joshua and Caleb, the, they're all excited, probably apprehensive. Um, as they face this new challenge. And so let's look and see um, what they encountered and then also that what we can expect when we encounter a new challenge. Okay. So would you read, um, the, we're only gonna look at one verse. We're gonna look at number 20, verse one, if you can read that. Okay. Um, it says, in the first month, the whole Israelite community arrived at the desert of Zen and they stayed at Kadesh. There, Miriam died and was buried. Yeah. So just right off the bat, as soon as they finally are all together, Moses loses his big sister. And, and that's really hard to realize that when you are facing a new challenge, that it's going to come with some, some loss and, and some grief. Um, I know as, as we're dealing with this, COVID-19 situation, that, that's come with some losses. What, what are some things that you feel like you've, you've lost because of all of this? Well, I mean, I, I think we've definitely lost some freedoms that we're used to having because we're used to going anywhere we want to go, being around people. And, you know, this, with this new challenge, there are losses. I mean, there's just things that we've had to deal with. And honestly, that we've, I've never had to deal, deal with. I don't think most of us in our lifetime have had to deal with. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's definitely impacted just our everyday, um, everyday life. Yeah. I mean, I am not looking at all at our 401k and <laughs> to it. Um, you know, we met with our financial advisor um, a few weeks ago and everything looked really good. Yes, and yes. I don't think everything looks really good right now. Um, and so just realizing, yeah, as you go into a challenge and it may be that, you know, viewers that you've, you've lost jobs or your children have lost jobs, um, your grandchildren have lost jobs. Um, maybe those of you who are at home with kids now, you've lost having somebody else teach your child. <laughs> you're trying to figure, you're grieving over that. Yeah, you're grieving. Um, yes. yeah, it's just all the things that, um, I think. I have a nephew that's a senior in high school and all the things that he's losing at this point, I actually have two nephews that are seniors mm -hmm. in high school and they're both, you know, right now graduation, they're not sure when that's going to happen. They're not going to, you know, all the things that you do your senior year that they are, they've lost. There's just so many things that it's amazing, you know, that we've lost during this time yeah. um, that we just didn't realize. And, and that's hard. It, and a lot of them are, are small things, but a lot of them are big things. You know, there's all different levels of loss at this time. Yes. Um, so it's, diff it's difficult. And everybody has lost something. Oh, yeah. I agree. And, uh, yeah, I think we need to remember that, that all of us are in need of, you know, some comfort when, when, we're, when we're grieving. And I was thinking, you know, I've been, I usually try and eat pretty healthy, but I'm realizing I'm not always turning to the Lord for comfort. Sometimes, you know what I'm, you know what I'm turning to, Cindy? <laughs> yes. I'm turning to these Puritelli chocolates. I love them. I know. I said, uh, what am I cut? I have some uh, chocolate kisses sitting here. Yes. And when I just have a moment, I'm like, oh, I just got to have a piece of chocolate. 
Um, but really and truly, you know, we, we've laughed about it, but a lot of people are like, all I want to do is eat. I'm just, you know, I'm sitting at home and you get kind of stressed out or you start thinking about your circumstances and you just want to eat. And we're turning to that. I'm sure there's some people who are worried and upset and maybe turning to alcohol and, you know, and drinking too much or, um, I don't know, lots of things uh, yes. that we, you know, turn to when we're stressed out. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we can take it out on somebody in the house with us and, you know, uh, be aggravated and take it out on our family members or, but, um, but we turn to other things. And right mm -hmm. now, I think especially we need to really turn to God and make sure that, you know, we are, are turning to him every day because he's what's going to get us through this. Yeah. You know what, one of the things I started doing, um, a few days ago was, I started creating on my Instagram account and on my Facebook account, this daily hope infusion where I just do a little graphic every day. And I talk about something that gives us hope in the Lord and a verse that goes along with that. Yes. And that has been really good for me. I thought I was doing that for other people to yeah. give them hope, yeah. but it's been really helpful for me because it's kept me in God's word and looking for something that is a promise from God or um, a, an attribute of the Lord is something that does help provide comfort in this time when um, we are grieving and, and there is, you know, up, we're experiencing a lot of losses. So yeah. what, what can we do to help refocus ourselves away from this, which is very temporary and comes with some consequences yeah. if you eat the whole bag of them, which someone in the house has done. I don't know who. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, but how can we turn, how can we turn to the Lord instead yeah. for comfort? Exactly. And I think, you know, uh, getting together with friends, not getting together, but you know, I'm talking about just through Zoom or on social mm -hmm. media, just uh, looking at social media accounts that um, are encouraging you to do that, to look to, to the Lord, you know, and not be a negative is a huge help right now. Um, it reminds me, and you know, people will say things on social media or write a verse and it, it encourages me. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh yes, yes, that's right. That's what I, you know. So I think those are, th that's the thing, you know, that we wanna do. We wanna turn, have positive influence in our life right now uh, through social media, um, through God's word, whatever. But, you know, just make sure that's where we're, you know, we're turning to. And it's okay to have a piece of chocolate. Yeah, a piece, <laughs> a piece, yes. Chocolate. We can, I keep reminding myself, scripture has no calories. Um, you know, and so to consume, um, more things like that, rather than try and fill myself and, uh, numb, numb myself, numb my, my feelings yeah. with, with another, food or zoning out. Another thing that you've said on social media that I really love is that, you know, we have this six foot distance, six feet distance. We're supposed to keep from people, but that we don't have that with God. There's no right. distance foot distance with God and we can be as close to him as we want to be. And I love that. Um, so, you know, be close to him, cling to him. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. think that's, that's what we've got to do right now. So yeah. anyway, well, I think um, really the beauty for the heart is just what unexpected losses have you experienced recently? Um, whether it be, you know, we've talked about the virus, the coronavirus that's going on, but you know, there's other things going on in the world and there are still unexpected losses. And what are you turning to for comfort? Are you, what are you finding yourself turning to? Um, and hopefully you could turn more often to God than the other things. And that's what we're encouraging you to do today. And I hope that helped. So Jennifer, thank you all as always. You're, you're always an encouragement and help me focus on the right things. And I appreciate that. And um, yeah, so we'll, we've got five more we're going to go through and I'm excited to get through those. Bye. Bye. Uh, Y'all have a great day.